just some figure, we are uh, around 2,000 staff uh, at AFD, uh, 1,000 uh, in Paris, and uh, 1,000 in uh, 60 branch offices in, in, the, in the country. Uh, not in the country, among the 60, 10 uh, branch offices are in uh, French overseas territory, because we have a mandate um, on both uh, foreign uh, countries, foreign partners, uh, and uh, overseas territories. Um, of course, working in uh, 50 countries, it means that we have, uh, we have a partnership uh, with uh, emerging uh, countries, uh, fast emerging uh, countries, and uh, uh, least developed countries. So we have uh, different mandates uh, for this country, and we call it different, differentiated partnership with, with this country. So, um, the, the, we are accountable to both Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of uh, Finance, uh, of course. Uh, each and every year uh, we uh, allocate some, um, uh, well, not each and every year, but uh, this year, 2013, we allocate around 8 uh, billion euros of financial resources, uh, 1 billion for um, through our uh, uh, private uh, branch, which is Proparco, which is partner with FMO and other uh, European financial institutions, which, uh, which operate at a commercial uh, condition. Uh, 1.5 billion for our overseas territories and the remaining for uh, foreign countries. So, uh, and the, 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 the economic model of uh, idea is to transform uh, an effort of the French budget of 1 billion through uh, subsidy of rate interest and grants uh, into uh, around 8 million of uh, commitment, annual uh, commitment. Uh, so and we, so one, maybe one of the characteristics of cooperative advantage of, uh, and limits as well uh, of the French Development Agency is the diversity of the financial tools. The main uh, resources we are able, able to provide to our uh, partner is uh, sovereign soft loans and uh, uh, the concessionality of those loans depends of course of uh, the poverty status and the, the, the debt uh, support capacity of our country. We, are, we consider that we have uh, three uh, categories of client. F the first client is uh, government, our governments through sovereign uh, activities. Uh, second is uh, private companies, or including state-owned uh, private companies. I'm referring to, uh, for instance, uh, energy or water supply uh, companies. Uh, the, the third one being uh, the banks. Uh, large part of our activity is really to build the capacity of the local banks in our partner country to develop their services. And there is, of course, a, a special financial windows for the NGO and civil society, which not represent more than uh, around 50 million euro grants uh, every year. Uh, I guess it's, it's enough to give you roughly uh, the, the main figure of, uh, of IFD. Uh, of course, uh, uh, as all our financial institutions, rural development and agriculture represent only uh, the best case 8% of the activity uh, of uh, the group. Uh, we have a special focus on Sub-Saharan Africa, which represents 50% uh, of our activity as far as foreign countries are concerned and which receive 70% uh, of the budget effort of the government and uh, the, our, we have a very clear objective as far as food security, and nutrition and rural development is concerned for Africa. Uh, we have to uh, double our uh, commitment for this region, moving from 8% for this region to 15%. Uh, uh, and uh, for Africa region, sub-Saharan Africa region, sorry. Uh, uh, so, and this is where we are. Uh, it's not an easy task. Also, we consider that uh, 
uh, given the, all uh, the, um, uh, the determinant, uh, the roots of food security, we, we can consider a lot of activity we found could, at the end of the day, contribute to, to food security. Uh, finally, I would say um, we discussed today of uh, territorial approach. It has been uh, our suggestion uh, through discussion with the Secretary of the Platform and the Board of the Platform. Uh, of course, this is not uh, the new paradigm. It's not uh, because we have been working on that, all of us. And this is not the only way to address food security, of course. So we consider uh, in few words that we have two main approach. One is through value chain, through production, which links uh, farmers to the market, and then uh, a more uh, geographical approach through the territory. And there is no idea of shifting from one to another, but shifting from considering only one to considering both of them as being uh, complementary. And uh, finally, I, if I may, uh, may I, I could um, maybe uh, make the suggestion or endorse the suggestion made by some of you that the platform could uh, tomorrow during the General Assembly or maybe to the board uh, consider changing a little bit the name, um, changing from a global platform for rural development to rural transformation, because the word transformation, the word change, has been used by everybody uh, all along the day, and we have to show that things are moving, and they are moving very fast, and our job is not more development, which is a low pace process, very long, it's a, we have to move really uh, in the transformation agenda. So this is a suggestion, which is not ma mine, but which really I feel very comfortable with, and uh, I endorse.